Hello friends and welcome to Budapest, Hungary. Excited to be here. We just have one day here in Budapest. We're gonna try and do all the top stuff that's been recommended to me. I've done some research. I've got a Hungarian friend who recommended me a bunch of good stuff as well. Tourism is huge here. It's kind of known as like a party capital, but Budapest is a city that is rich with history. Danube River runs from Germany through Austria into Hungary and then kind of continues on toward the, I believe, the Black Sea and comes and splits Budapest right down the middle. And on the one side, there's the Buddha side, and then there's the Pest side. So it's kind of two different villages, how it started, now it's one big thriving city. It started over on the Buddha side, that's where all the like, historical villages, the old town. So we're gonna get out there and try and have some fun. And the first stop is the biggest thing. Budapest is home to the world's largest thermal water cave system in the world. Because of that, they have a ton of thermal baths that they're famous for. So I thought that'd be a good first stop. We're gonna go get ourselves clean, wash off. So we'll check in when we get there. Well, that was an experience. Just went to the Rudis bathhouse in this historic building. It's got changing rooms and the like, everything for you. They have kind of like a lap pool that you can go into, and then they have some more modern kind of baths that are like kind of sitting pools. You can go in, there was one that was, I think, 32 degrees Celsius, 36 degrees Celsius, and then 42 degrees Celsius, and then they had a cool bath in there as well that I snuck myself down on into and uh, kind of hung out in. Then you can go upstairs and there's a little bar and restaurant area. There's also a panoramic pool is what they call it. They have a pool on the roof that you can sit in and look out at the Danube and look over to the Pest side of Budapest. And it's pretty cool, it's pretty crowded when I was up there so I didn't spend much time there. Then you can come back down and they have all kinds of different saunas, they have a Finnish sauna. Supposedly, this one is like 90 degrees Celsius. It's hot, it'll cook ya. An aroma sauna, that had some scent to it, and then there was a steam room that was super, super hot. I like opened the door and like almost had walked out immediately. And then you can get into like the old style where it looks like you're in like an underground Roman bathhouse, and it's cool, it's got these light holes up above where light shines through the glass, and it's super pretty. Make sure you stop in there, because that's the coolest part, and it's, uh, it's a nice time. I feel a bit rejuvenated for sure. But yeah, the thermal baths, super cool. I'm gonna go find some food. I'm a bit hungry. Normally the place to go would be the Central Market Hall where it's like a big food court, but it's closed today. So we're gonna go find some other Hungarian food that my friend recommended to me, see if we can go and find some, and then we're gonna go see some more historical sites. Stick around, click subscribe, come hang out, let's get on with the food. Stuffed in here at a place called Hungarian's Hell's Kitchen and got a recommendation from the waiter and my friend. Toltat Kaponz, the stuffed cabbage. Let's try it out. <laughs> so I really like it. It's got like that sour cabbage taste to it. It's similar to sauerkraut, but it's loaded with a little bit more Eastern flavor. So good. There's some kind of meat or sausage in here. It kind of adds to that flavor. Mm. Mm. Didn't realize I was such a big fan of cabbage. I've also noticed a trend here. They have these really extravagant lemonades. So I got this seemingly super fancy raspberry lemonade. They have like raspberries in it. And it's just like super good. If you like fruity drinks, try that now. <laughs> but now that we've got some food in this, let's go grab some dessert. And in the most crisp way possible, I'm gonna do this the dumbest way possible. Because I'm smart. Because we're smart. I'm gonna multitask. I'm vlogging in a really busy area, walking over a windy bridge while eating. Woo! This wind is ridiculous. Hungary's known for these chimney cakes that they roll around and then bake in a circular motion and they're hollow. Let's see if they're any good though. It's baked dough with cinnamon all over. How could it not be good? But there's shops all over. Sometimes you can get it filled with ice cream. Anyways, I think I've subjected you to enough wind. All right, made it up to Buda Castle. It's up on the Buda side, obviously, of Budapest. It overlooks the whole Danube River. It's super pretty, super nice. 
pretty popular for the little roller car that takes you up. It's like an elevator escalator thing. Funicular, they call it. But it's like this little box thing that takes you up this little incline and it's nice and slow and it <laughs> gives you this pretty little view up. It's fun, it's kind of a little touristy thing. It costs about 3,000 huff, which is about seven and a half US dollars. And you're here to add Buda Castle. This is one of the big attractions where you can see everything uh, overlook the valley. And it was where the city was essentially started and just views for miles. And the Buddha castle does have like an art exhibit going on, it looks like. But just a quiet little jaunt over through the Buddha castle district will get you to the Fisherman's Bastion. Fisherman's Bastion is this beautiful kind of lookout area where they have some old fortifications. And they're super well preserved and they just provide these beautiful windows out over to the Pesh side of Budapest over the Danube, giving these Instagram perfect spots. There was a little bit where there was a restaurant inside so you can sit down and have a nice meal looking out over Budapest. Popular spot, really pretty. There's different sections of it and it looks pretty castle-like. Fairy tale dreams coming true here. Beautiful part of the city, the old town. Like this is probably the must stop place. If you're gonna do something, you do like this in the baths. And just west of the Fisherman's Bastion, there's a little gazebo thing. Probably looks kind of the backside of the Buddha side. So it's a fun little spot to go and see. There wasn't a lot of people there. You can see out across the little valley, get some air, it was really nice. Still super windy, getting blown away here in Budapest. And just down the stairs from that little gazebo area, you can find the Hospital in the Rock Museum, which is actually pretty cool. Basically what it is, is it's this old war hospital that was used in World War II and in the Hungarian Revolution in the 1950s against the Soviet Union. They have all these wax figures and old tools and stuff from the 40s and 50s that kind of show what it was like. And so it's fascinating. It's a different part of the war that usually doesn't get focused on in kind of a lot of the American teachings or TV shows. So I found it really interesting to learn about the siege of Budapest and all that went on there. A lot of fascinating stuff. No weapons were ever allowed in a Red Cross facility, and so there was no conflicts in there. And if you worked for the Red Cross, you were deemed kind of like in the pandemic, as we said, uh, essential. So people that were in the Red Cross kind of had a free pass from the Gestapo and stuff. There was a Swiss doctor that saved like 15,000 people by giving them Red Cross paperwork. Anyways, it's a cool stop. Let's check that out. It was like 6,000 huff or something. It turned out to be about 16 bucks. In the words of Jay-Z, on to the next one. Alright, you guys know I couldn't resist the scooter ride. We got down here on the banks of the Danube with the langu. Big thing of fried bread, sour cream, and cheese on top. That's the traditional way of So we're gonna see how that goes. Basically, a big savory donut with much creamy goodness on top. So, big piece of fried bread, sour cream and cheese. What it tastes like. Yeah, it's just a nice little meal, it's a little snack, I should say. I'm gonna go out there in a minute, so catch you on the water. All right, it's about 15 euros to take a ride on the Danube with the Legend Tours. There's different places you can do it, obviously, but it was beautiful. They gave you a little drink along the way that you could have, and there was little headphones you could put on and follow along and hear little bits of history about it, so you learn a lot about the city as well. It's beautiful. You get awesome views of the Parliament building at night. I would add that too onto your itinerary. Make sure you do that if you are able to. They have ones during the day. They have a dinner cruise as well, so check those out. But that is gonna do us here for Budapest today. Hope you guys enjoyed the food, the sights, and everything. And honestly, I was a bit scared to come to Hungary. I thought it was gonna be kind of scary Eastern Europe, but not at all. People have been super friendly, super kind, and speak English for the most part. Remember to click subscribe down here, because we're gonna get a lot of cool stuff coming up. It's Berlin, and we're also going to Scandinavia, so make sure you click subscribe, come hang out. And if you want to check out any of my travel gear, paddleboard gear, whatnot, all my stuff that I ever use, I've got Amazon links in the description down below, so check that out. Camera's down there as well. So place this cool can only go to one couple, Jamie and Joe Rawlings. Thank you guys so much for your contributions, donations, and support from me and my channel. You guys are the best. I mean, this city has been rebuilt time and time again because of the dedication of these people. So study some Hungarian history and take a lesson. And whatever your vision is, whatever your dream is, Go out there and accomplish it. Go create the world.